Hey guys, this video is filled with tips to help improve your swivel knife work. Now this video is part of an entire project getting released for March in the Leather Life Classroom. So if you want access to this pattern or want to see this entire project all the way through, follow the link in the description to check out the Leather Life Classroom. Let's head over and check this out. As I cut this in, I'm going to talk to you about a few things that are particular to a pattern similar to this. With a lot of our cuts, we talk about moving that leather a little bit as needed to try to help get nice smooth cuts especially on you know some of these cuts that are bigger round kind of sweeping cuts we try to get as much of those that curve in there as we can fading off our lines as they're ending within the vine work but sometimes to come around one of these flower petals we have to do a lot of moving to get this around right to get all the way around that cut so it's kind of like tooling in circles if I start up here at the tip I can pull that knife down towards my center start at that tip again and pull that knife back that way so we can get all the way around that pedal without having to turn and manipulate my leather so I'm going to look at, at that as I go around here and try to get the most efficiency as I can as I'm drawing that knife this pattern here has a few places where lines go underneath something else so like this vine here for instance comes down and you see it tucks underneath this pedal so I look to where it picks back up here if I pull this line I kind of just continue my hand like it was going to be pulling through there now I can put pressure back down that helps make sure that I'm coming out from underneath that pedal in the right direction where it went under at that's going to help your eye pick up those lines where they need to be so we don't accidentally offset something that's where your eye can pick up that hey something just doesn't look quite right here so we got to remember that the swivel knife cuts these main cuts is the foundation of your entire pattern so the smoother we can make these cuts the more intentional we can be about where they're at the cleaner that's going to be now any of these lines that are intersecting two spots like this line here it intersects here it intersects there where it comes underneath it intersects there and intersects there i'm not worried about fading those lines okay, all those can just cut straight you might notice a little bit of a fade as i pull that more out of habit and how i'm lifting that knife up but they don't necessarily have to be faded because they're going to bevel out consistently. The ones that I want to really work on fading are any of the lines that end within the vine work. So up here, for example, this knife, this line comes, I'm starting that deep. As we roll around here, I'm going to start fading off, just lightening my pressure up. So then it fades out to nothing there. The better we can get at fading those lines out when you cut them, the easier it's going to be to fade them when you bevel. So each tool is kind of building on itself, especially with these first few fundamental tools, our swivel knife, then our bevel and our shader. The better job we can do with each one of those is going to make the next one easier. And they're all working together to get that final product that we're after. Now right up here, this little filler here, this is actually that leaf turned over itself. So when we pull these cuts, I'm starting close to this outside line, but not touching it and not intersecting it. Same thing here, I'm gonna pull around, 
and fade that where it kind of parallels that outside line. That way when we bevel that, it's going to really get that look of that dropping over itself. You can kind of rotate this leather as I catch those petals there. I'm going to kind of skip through this pattern a little bit. Again, this is just working on efficiencies and reach some of these lines that I can reach from my leather being this direction. So I'm just barely rotating this like, like that side to side. Well, there's some of these lines that I'll need to turn this all the way around for, and we'll get to those in just a second. But part of being efficient as you learn to see different lines is going to be to reach as much as we can in one direction before I turn that all the way around. Because every time we flip that leather all the way around, it just eats up time. And as you're starting, don't worry about that. You may flip this around a hundred times, but if you're looking to do this for a business or you're just looking to increase your efficiencies, kind of take things to that next level, those are tips that are going to help you. But don't feel like you have to be able to jump through a pattern like this. Sometimes it might be easier just to start at your flowers and then work your vine works back. Yeah, it's going to work different for everybody. Uh, but I want to continue to add in tips that are going to help everybody where they're at in their kind of their journey of making making this stuff happen. In those longer cuts, try to pull that whole arm and be really smooth as we do that. One thing that's helpful is kind of locking that wrist and I'm pulling that whole arm. I'm not doing this to try to pull that cut. It's going to help you get smoother cuts that way. So I'm again jumping kind of around here, but getting those lines that pull really well from this direction. And then I'll keep rotating and skip around and catch the rest of these. After we catch these last few lines, then we'll get our back border cut in. Now we've rotated all the way back around to get that finished up. We're one time rotating that 
entire piece around. Hey, thanks for taking your time to hang out with me here and watch these videos. I hope it helps and I hope it adds value to your tooling. But remember, if you want to check out this pattern particularly or watch this project all the way through, check out the link in the description and come be a part of the Leather Life Classroom.